quality improvement. Okay. It is a matter of singular pride to me when I stand before you that I have my mentors here, Professor Nalan, Professor Sena, who taught me, Praveen, who held my hand during my training days, and the wonderful audience who is sitting here to learn here about it. It's always very different. I am singularly pleased to know the program the way it has been charged. And India wants to grow and grow differently. Even our Prime Minister Modi says that if India has to grow, we have to innovate in India. And I am very happy to see that the theme of this conference was best innovation. And I felt very humbled when I was asked to give a talk on this theme topic of this conference, that's innovation. We are proud Indians. We have been taking things forward by our simple thoughts and in very humble language what we say that Indians are Jawaru. It is our Jawar which is making us different. And when we talk scientifically, we call those Jawars and innovations. It is must for us that if we have to survive, we have to lead the world, we have to be innovative. In the next few minutes, I will take you through the journey of innovation. Now what George Bernard said, Shaw said, that is an unreasonable man who adapts to the world, but it is unreasonable ones who make world adaptive. They bring in the change. And hence, we should try to be different. He Dawar, one of the person from UK, he said, my son I passion, we work best at home. It's time for us to think differently in the What happens in India or anywhere that we run in tight corners very often? You don't have things available to us. So they were this. They are problems. And once we have those problems, we identify them very precisely. We develop questions, research questions. And then we think, we discuss, we develop ideas that how to handle this idea, the research question. And then the process of thinking starts with how to do things, innovation development. And whenever we develop something, we test it. In the various phases, we explain to a clinical, we do patenting thereafter and put it to practice. This is a full ontogeny means development of innovation. So the innovation in nutshell, they are essential for all of us. They are relevant, they are tailor-made, they are useful to us, not to somebody else. They are cost effective and once you are in the field of innovation, it is exciting and maybe more addictive than any other addiction one might have. I am here putting a list of about 40 innovations and see at all levels these innovations have come. Only 50% of these innovations are done exclusively by me but rest all are my colleagues. And they are right from intern onwards, interns, nurses, specialists, everyone has participated. So it's a question of attitude. When I look at the innovations which I am going to showcase, they cover a large, wider spectrum. About 47% of a neonatology, but training is a very important component, 23%. Now, in the next few slides, I am going to showcase the innovations. It will be a sort of a little fast journey. Suffice it to say, my aim is very simple to make us identify that there is a problem, how did we look at the problem, what we created, and how we have put it. My entire presentation may not have that scientific base that we have put to trials and all that, it may be lacking. But it is not only for me, but it is true for the entire India. What I am trying to put, 
across is that we should think differently and get solutions to our own problems. I start with respiratory system. Uh, I have named this as a grease and mandatory and an auxiliary to fixator. Now my problem is that probably it's a problem of all of us that when we ventilate baby for long, this is what we create. Every little face and no zocomere cells. He might survive of ventilation, but he dies of no zocomere cells. And the tube moves up and down. So my research question was, let's can I prevent this? And what we did? We created a device. You see a small device, it is of a silicon, has multiple openings. You can put the tube, tighten it, it has a zero mobility thereafter. You can tear the oral cavity and there is another port available for putting a 3D tube in. It's a process under process of patenting, uh, because we are put to the US. The second one I am showing is a warmidified oxygen. We have a humidified oxygen. There is a new logism where we thought differently. Now I give an example that when any one of us suffers from pneumonia, when you go on a motorcycle in the winter's night, what happens? If you don't have a chest pain, you develop chest pain. Now take the same simile here. We give oxygen to our babies, to our patients whose lungs are diseased. We do give humidified oxygen. But it is not warm. It can affect our babies. And the other argument is, that when we ventilate, can't we vomitify the oxygen? So therefore we thought it is essential that all patients who get oxygen should get vomitified oxygen, which means both humid and warm. And this is what we are using here, stand alone vomitifier, which is simply a humidifier. It is a question of an attitude. If hospital decides, when I was the commander of the hospital, all my patients were getting vomitified oxygen. It does so much of work. And your tube aspirator. Though we are changing the concept about meconium aspiration suction, but what I am trying to show here is that our main problem was that whenever we had a meconium stain like a, a baby delivered, we used to do repeated intubation. Intubate, suck, take the tube out, re intubate. Trauma and asphyxia. So our issue was that can we prevent this repeated intubation? And hence, we developed a device where we had a tube, fix a three way and connect it with cells. So repeated innovations were not required. This innovation was done by my student who is a group captain now in Indian Air Force. And incidentally, we saw small things make so much of difference. This innovation was awarded as the best innovation award in one of the MNFs. Another thing. We are of oxygen by oxygen hood. And what I am trying to show here is that a lot of water drips on the baby's face because the entry point for the tube is maybe at the top. And that drip of water can create havoc to the patient. We don't realize. And hence we thought, can we stop this drip this of water falling the sick baby's face? And we put a concept of putting a water trap. And again, since it's a cheap attitude, mucus traps, mucus traps, 10 rupees, 12 rupees, used already, we started using them. So we created a water trap for when we give oxygen to oxygen water. Cardiovascular system, head pulse oxygen. Now see, Indians are brilliant, genius, I feel that maybe I can quote my nose and mouth, but I want to state that we take leads, but we do not take leads to the finality of that lead, and then somebody else takes credit for that. Way back, we thought that when a newborn is put on pulse oximeter and if that particular limb is ischemic for any reason or you have applied something, it doesn't pick up well. So you don't want to give it fallacious reasons. Then I appeared to us, can we use head pulse oximeter? And that was just an exploratory work. And we use the same probe, not a reflectance probe, same probe. Put on the head and here the trial is going on. You have one head flow, another one with a conventional flow, and I don't know whether it's visible or not, the readings, they are nearly comparable. So same pulse oximeter, same probes, used at head and at the finger, changes the readings. We had presented this work in one of the annual conventions. Now of late, there are probes coming in the market which are different and costly for head. But what I am saying it is cheap. The same probe one can use. Only thing is, 
when we had produced a small contraption where we would fix the simple forms of pulse oxygen. Keep great. And we did trial not only in neonates, even in infants, and even adults during anesthesia. It has done a reasonable job. Something which we always worry and things may go wrong. It was somewhere in one of the hospital when I gave an instruction to my nurse, give dopamine, whatever dose was to be given. And by the time I came back, my baby was dead. Why? Because that amount which was to be induced over 6 hours or 8 hours was given as bolus. And hence in critical condition, critical state, it is very important that we should have right calculation without any scope of error. And therefore we thought that can we do something and here I am talking of a formula which I named it as Ashani formula. It's very simple. It states that if you add one degram of that particular agent, dopamine here for instance, and if you add in six hours fluid volume, it will give you an infusion rate of roughly 2.5 mg per kg. If you have to give 5 mg, you have to 2 mg per kg, 3 mg 3 times, and it will like Absolutely simple, no confusions. It would make life much easier and simple. And you will avoid those medical errors which I have committed once and lost a life. Calf sign for factors. Very common condition of being hemodynamically sick in PDA and ICU. We all want to practice advanced care. We want to do egos. May not be possible. So we were looking at that. Can we have one more sign which can possibly reflect that ductus is more hemodynamically significant? So we put our finger around the path and we found that pulsations are very prominent in these ways. It's not published in other books right out. So we understand that. So we worked on that and we came it at the half time and this is another contribution which we did. Eye fixation. Our major problem in an ICU is the fluid leaking, thromophlebitis taking place, extraposition taking place. Could we have fixed it better? Since we were in the process of doing a lot of innovations, we thought that let's think something. So I developed a small silicone thing which has multiple holes and it allows me to fix all vein flaws without any mobility. Here I fixed it in this case. End point very satisfying. Nowadays a lot of things have come market, but earlier, when we were finding veins difficult to be located, one of my students who stood captain the Lar on Air Force. He thought that he would use the light of pulse oximeter probe and visualize the small vessels. How things which are available could be actually used? It's only a question of the art thought processes. ASEPs. That and better for any new one we have provided. And I make pain to make a statement. That when you ask for the antibiotic policies of the country, go to each owner, people talk of all possible agents whose name even you have not heard. But when you look at the ASEPSIS protocol, there is a lot desired. So first we came with the concept of a hand wash. I did a small secret operation in my NICU, looking at that how many times a nurse touches a baby in 24 hours. You can have all your guesses. When I did a secret operation and analysis, she was touching more than 200 times in 24 hours. And then we said, we preach to hand wash. Is it practically feasible? Either she will do only hand wash or care. So we came out with an idea, because we are Indians, we have to be cheap, affordable, of alcohol dispenser. And I talked of 1995. We took a bottle filled with alcohol, colored it with methylene blue so that we do not have an accidental ingestion, put a reverse, put a IV effect with a roller frame and hung on each one, on each patient. So cheap. And I am very happy to state that there are people whom this matters. And with a lot of happiness and pride, I say that Trivandrum Medical College started it first then. The moment we innovated, they said we will use it in our college. But no, there are no easy takers because these things are offensive. It is absolutely essential that we must do hand wash and this thing should be in addition to your initial hand wash. We didn't stop here. 
And you know, we are very knowledgeable when we are at bedside. Even if we do not know, we want to exhibit knowledge. And we say, show us this report, show us that report, show us ECG, show us XHS, all bedside inside events. Patients will also come. We thought, can we dilute this contamination armamentarium of our people? And we first address intake output chart. Now, intake output chart is hung on each bed. We wash our hands all right, but that is contaminated. That's not taken care of. Then we touch the chart, nurse enters, touch it. Enters, touch it. So we took an initiative. Initially, there was a lot of resistance. So it's how it is possible. And with a lot of happiness, I am saying that all my neighbor units follow it precisely and very carefully. And that is what? That we had put a cardboard which is clean with Cytex. The intake output charts are autoclaved and there is a pen hung which is again clean with Cytex. So at least we do not transmit infection to the extent which we were doing earlier. Of course, we have removed all patients from the NICU nursing station. It has gone out from the patient care area, like as X-rays and ECGs. It's a very important, it needs to be understood. It's not ciprofloxacin, meropenem, and things like that. It is our intake output chart if you want to have a baby to survive better. When I analyze the UK data, they say we use penicillin and gentamicin. And I ask anyone sitting here, can anyone say with confidence that it is my event? My first antibiotic is penicillin and gentamicin. I'd be very fortunate even if one hand goes up. Simply because we do not care for resources. I didn't stop here. These are very simple thoughts, may not be very practical, but they might look odd, but these are true. I have seen bottles of IV fluid with insect inside. And IV is being run. Absolutely polluted in fire. So we thought, could we cover them with something? And hence we brought out this prevention envelopes. We also thought that at all junctions, because there must not be any breach in the continuity of the IV trip set right up to the entry point, must be covered with data there. My all innovations can be questioned. They could be counter argument. But what I'm trying that uh, an intention to prevent infection to whatever extent possible. Or can be put to test, we can have a better trial in our class. Coming to John this question. I was a real discomfort that during my training program at Chandigarh, we were doing three to five exchanges per night as SR. That was the story. Or we were having babies getting into conditions. And those where we were doing exchange task usually, they were coming to us after getting photos. For whatever reason, I am not saying that whether effective or effect, I am not doubting the intention of the present doctor. But the end point was having come to us and required exchange or they got interest if these are interventions that are ineffective. Are photo therapy but ineffective. So we raised two research questions for us. Can we make conventional prototherapy more effective? And the second thing which we all understand that it is an antihepatic recirculation of baby creates havoc. We must address that. The baby must pass through. So for both of these we had some answers. We created answers. First experimental trial we did, again these are all questions of 95 or 96. We covered the phototherapy unit with three colors clothes, white, blue and green which was available in the hospital. And we looked at the flux and does it, did it make any difference? They made difference. When we covered with white, it increased the flux almost one and a half times of what it was given earlier. Blue almost kept the same and green reduced the flux. So we came up with a recommendation that whatever phototherapy you have, you have, cover it with white clothes, it would enhance the flux. So that was our initial trigger. We got excited by this. So then we thought, that can we further do things? Can we bring in better reflection? And that is what we did. We brought silver foil or aluminum foil concept. We lined the sheets with aluminum foil. And then we had double surface, we had fiber optic both upper and lower. And to my utter surprise, which at times appears to be unbelievable, 
that the flux which normally we talk of 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 15, with this combination with this silver coil, we produce a flux of 70 plus, 70 plus. And we didn't stop at this, we presented this work in the national conference. And then our worry became that is overdosing of flux to any harm to the rate from hardly any So much of the difference. And here I am saying with pain and a little bit of a discomfort to myself. See, the Indians preach. But in the morning we heard data. I did not publish this. Now somebody after a couple of years publishes from Singapore. They are being used as Indians. We could be originators of the thought, we could be originators of the idea, but when it comes to maturity, we are left behind. And nobody else is to be blamed, it is me, me, and me. And prophetic recirculation. If baby doesn't pass through, about 60 to 80 percent of the looking is going to get reabsorbed from the gut and create cavity. And therefore, we came up with a concept that can we announce the schooling of the day. And we started giving a pinch full of Isabel gold husk four times a day with women. In a baby who has not passed through on that particular day, a case of job, underwent for Whatever I am talking, this is all published somewhere. This was published in an journal. Coming to routine care of the And how simple points I am going to touch, and you will realize that how important they are. In my opinion, which all of you would agree, a newborn I consider as a waterman. His body is water, essentially, 70 to 80 percent. Rest all his tissue. Now, if we do not know how to maintain this water metabolism, how to regulate water well, we can't manage the new And the surrogate marker of water content of the baby is weight. And hence, we must see how baby is doing by taking his weight more often if he is more Maybe 6 hours, 8 hours, 8 hours, 8 24 At least 12 to 24 hours, we should Because that would decide the future therapy. Ventilation is fine. But if you can't manage food and weight, ventilation is not going to do anything. Maybe it's going to be hard. The first fundamental of newborn care is food management and weight adjustment. And the problem is that when you take weight and the baby is sick, he crashes. Because you are taking off the ventilator, taking on bed, taking onto the weighing scale, and if he happens to make it a PPHF, he will crash. So we brought out a concept way back in 95. And industry was on my side, I said, well, I want all my open care system to have a very scale attention under me. So I have to just switch on and switch off. And imagine how much it would cost me then, 3 to 5 thousand rupees addition cost on any open care system. And hence my all bags in the unit, then online very scale, I can just switch on and switch off and I go to call the But see the irony of the system of the environment. The moment I got posted out over a period of time, it phased out. Now when people from outside giving you online way device expression care unit, they are buying it for a couple of lakhs. Maybe incubator is available for six to eight lakhs. But once we could provide for addition cost of three to four thousand, neither the people asked for it nor the industry provided it because there was no market and no attitude. If I talk of high frequency ventilation, everyone would write it. But when I say that every, sorry, when I say that every trailer weight must be taken, ask yourself in respect. Except for a few units, others may not be taken. In fact, my diagnosis, I do a tele-diagnosis. My diagnosis comes from weight and intake output chart, most of the cases we diagnose. Weight is very important. And that's why I overemphasize necessity to have a weight device which does not disturb it. Tell me to five percent. we talk five. In fact, I was fortunate to see something in PJI uh, to see the great work of my mentors, Professor Dr. Professor We had one incubator being developed over there. We had get some bulbs over there, and we were doing one. So, carry forward the same idea. And considering that I am the poorest person, thought that can we do something of maintaining the baby in a simpler manner. So my research question was that could we innovate one which is free, easily available, disinfectable, disposable, speed sheet. 
I'll show you. This was a heat shield which was being used. It was a perspex adapter, costing anything about two thousand then. And then we just received it from the market because priorities of people are different. So what we did, we said, okay, let's see what we can do. I picked up the X-ray films, which were to be discarded. These were washed, cleaned, disinfected, and ready to use. Free of cost. Reduced in chance to work with And I could adjust to any shape. This was my dream, which came true. I always felt that the transport of a newborn is a huge problem in India. It is basically because of the problem of transport incubators, they are battery driven, they need electricity. So I was wondering, can we develop something which is simple, light, disinfectable, non battery electricity operated and to be used on all modes of transport. So once I was going in uh, Mumbai World Trade Center and Tiger clicked, I'm talking of 95. There were bags available in different shapes, which had a small metallic ring disc inside and the point was that if you could twist the disc from outside it will generate an exothermic reaction in that chemical which happens to be sodium salicylate and then the entire bag will get heated to a desired temperature and would remain heated for a period of 4 to 6 hours well I thought let me experiment, let me try so I picked up those bags of different shapes and sizes covered them with a cloth did the heating study to how long did they remain warm and it actually matched our requirement and since I was a neighbor I could just to complete the, all the possible exploration I used all modes of transport including ship, surface and air now see a small thing which made different and I could get the economy made for a very small amount 2 to 3, 4 thousand rupees in 4,000 and 2,000, I created a transport implement. And fortunately, uh, and in a bit, appreciate this, and we were given the best innovation of all of this. Another one. This is from my student, uh, who is now Colonel Vishal Tiwari, uh, one of the brilliant uh, Sankaran neurologists of the armed forces. What he did, he used open gear system, and he wanted to make it as an incubator. So he did two things. Normally we use, see the Naveen is very happy to learn about this program. Uh, what we did that uh, he covered it with thin cling film, which normally we use cling film. But what he additionally thought that could I put a humidifier connection to it. So you have both humidification as well as temperature gain, a brilliant idea for running the cost, an open care system became an equivalent of a thing to Feeding plants. That's really essential. We heard a lot in the morning that how important is feeding. The issues are that when we have small babies who are feeding problems or who do not have coordination of sex solo, it becomes difficult that how to get the baby from high need to a normal food. So we need to have a problem. So we thought, can we think of something? which challenges all these functions of the baby and comes out as a comfortable way of feeding the baby. Here I will give credit to my nurse. This is what she created, a syringe feeding approach. We took a syringe, took the rubber of the IV drip cell and put it in the baby's mouth where all functional is present. Baby has to suck, baby has to solve in the thought line. Initially, they said it is going to be a difficult exercise, but let me assure you, there is the best thing which my nurses could do. They enjoy self feeding the baby, and it's absolutely safe, even if there is no chance of aspiration, because baby is regulated. Self feeding is published. Now, coming to volume. It's very important in terms of knowing volumes of the various bodily fluids from wherever we get, and when we buy these bags, they cost money. We thought, can we have any simple modes? And hence, we use the mucus stretch again at various places, and again, the credit goes to my nurses. It's, it's fixed in a feeding tube. It is uh, very soothing. Susan is the name of my nurse. 
and we created this and it was used regularly. Likewise, a urinary volumetry, again same thing for urinary collection. Now, something which I feel I need to spend more time. And it is because of our attitude of doctors and pediatricians in particular. We are very happy today that our babies are surviving. But all of them may not be surviving. And what bothers us is that we feel very good when we conduct MBA exam or DM exam. Oh, we need a follow up case. So we've got disabilities. Very important component of DM exam, you know. And that patient is also admitted for an exam. Either then or subsequently. He's being utilized for our training and examination purposes. But did we ever think and wonder why we created this patient? Who's responsible? Was it preventable? And after that exam, of course, he stays for 5 7 days and goes home. You somehow counsel the attendant in any by that sample of the cardiac. It's a very painful affair. And nobody else, if I am the person, I keep myself responsible and accountable for this creation. Some of them. Now, what I am trying to bring out is the fact is that are these temperature preventable? When you have a patient who is doing toe walking, child, or who is seizuring, it is we who allow those contractures to form. Therefore, could we start all those things in the NICU? And therefore, our concept is that our 100% babies in the NICU without any exception. This is my practice. I consider them as a potentially brain challenge. And the moment their cardiorespiratory system is stable, I put them to the various Occupation threat. Well, very simple. If this has to be prevented, I ask my mother or my nurse to keep doing this. If the particle risk or particle cup is to be prevented, my mother does this. Or instead of a plant uh, reflex state, mother keeps doing this. By doing this simple maneuver, at least I have taken care that no contractors, no seizing, no toe walking. Just my practice of which are definitely support. And various other facilitation. Hope some of you would probably think that this is relevant and may start practicing. So, what you want? We all hear music. We like music. I thought, could I use music for our new one in the intensive care? We did a small trial, numbers are very small. And we picked up these four, five types of music. Drugs of star, people singing voice, which happens to be loaded from mother. Classical instrumental music, fueled uh, by Herpeshan Kavasiya, and so on and so forth. Now, what happened? These are all intensive periods. And we showed that there is a rise in saturation in fallen heart. Suffice us to say, there is a decrease in stress level in the human intensive period of heart. Sound pressure levels in NICU, uh, very, very uh, amusing statement. More young we are in the neonatology or medical profession and we have a good team of learners, we teach them. We teach them bedside. More sincere teacher we are, we teach even in a much louder voice, more emphatic. Without realizing that what is a safe sound pressure level for a newborn to have a normal hearing. And it is as per American Academy of as per the American Academy of Pediatrics, it is 45 decibel, is a safe SPL, sound pressure. So again, I thought, let me do my own introspection, let me arrive my NIC. And fortunately, this was undergoing change. So I evacuated everything and started doing sound pressure levels. Can you imagine uh, how big culprit I could be for that? My maximum sound pressure level I was producing 104 decibel. And you know, I give you some you know, common example. When you are on a railway platform and when train is passing by, it can you sleep there? Can you sleep when the train is just passing or crossing the platform? No. And the decibel it produces is close to 75 and 80. 
You can't sleep at 75 and 80. You want your newborns to remain outright in the NIC when you are not bothered. Your alarms are ringing. You are the top professor then shouting at the maximum voice producing more than 100 decibels. How is you are. And therefore, it is mandatory that we should bring down the NIC sound pressure levels. It should be hard. When I did the study, I had to, buy, I had to borrow the SPL meter or sound pressure level meter from IAM from Bangalore. I was in Pune there. So, so much difficult it was for me. But today it is not difficult. I have just named one app, which is decibel 10. There are many apps on the smartphone. Maybe if I permit, at the end I will show you those two apps. It is in your smartphone, you just switch on the app and you know what you are afraid you are asking your patients or to ignore. It is must be. Any app for that matter. I am interested in the attitude. And remember, if the cerebral autoregulation is defective in preterm and forcing the baby, more defective is the cerebral autoregulation. We are inviting it off. Angle foot length meter, uh, measure for uh, no, maturity assessment. It is done by my student, Ashok Kalda. Uh, uh, angle foot length meter was innovated by him. Galactosphema, Amala, must be my child with the baby with galactosphema. Maybe I am talking of 96. We did not have a galactosphema milk available. So our huge problem was how to produce galactosphema. My PD, Dr. Smile, he was very energetic. He said, sir, my solution like that. He did analysis of all the foods available in the market and he came out with the idea of peanut and mushroom milk whose relative content is very low and we use that for a pretty long time they will be fairly alright. I thought big difference made things happen in India. Now shifting to training. Innovations, I believe we would like to train all of us on different <coughs> subjects. May not always be possible. And therefore it is very important that we create simulations or use technology most optimally. I have fitted the same here. This is a wonderful device which is developed. I thought that I should carry it here and show you the actual demo, but I'll spend a minute on this. Putting long line is essential for our care. If you want our babies to survive. Either we should put a medical line at birth Get few days off and then put a PICC. You are not pretending the thing. This is what we have done for training people for putting PICC is peripherally inserted central catheter. Now how to train that train if you don't get an opportunity? Or some companies do make trainer simulator which costs a fairly good amount of money. So what we did, we took a, a small wooden piece, created a vein here, covered with a couple of plastics and then we started training on this. I have a good module which is already covered. And this has been developed by my surgeon, Sergeant Captain Goshi. I have trained at least uh, more than 100 people on this and this had my comparison between the market product of a company which is training on this and my device, the comfort levels were much higher. My money spent may not be even 20 rupees, so I request that all of you should think like that, maybe use it. I have named as a Giri Retu or PICC trainer. Some more advice again from my student who is group captain Dalal. He has used for PICC the Fenolize insert. In case something happens, you can use the Fenolize for insert. Now, interventions. Actually, for almost uh, two and a half decades or more, I've been talking and thinking and training and doing interventions, inclusion. There's been a lot of reservation. When we talked to two and a half years back, people from all over, oh no, interventions cannot be part of an RP. But we were training even then. Way back, maybe about 15 years back, we did an RP in Hyderabad, and we made interventions as a part of the NRP training program. How things are changing if it should be done. What I am trying to show you here is 
that normally we have been claiming on chicken bones, chicken legs. Uh, I thought it may not be a near depiction of a baby's leg, so we have started playing on a mutton leg. And here I am showing a session going on training people on intraocean fusion. Unlike our vessels, catheterization very important for us in Dubai. The problem is that whenever we try to train, it slips. So the first innovation by again Sajin Captain Ashok Yadav, he has used a fringe fixed somehow that unlike that, unlike the thought in training. Another fixing method done by Sajin Ashok Captain Dhanal used a bottle, nipple, fixed up. I'm like the podcast and train people. Yeah. I also changed the trend of my examination. I examine my people on a smartphone. And here what I am showing is as we may not have all cardiology cases available to us. But then how do we examine our postgraduates on cardiology? And what has happened unfortunately, our cardiologist today is ego cardiology. The first thing you do is ego and then you see the patient's back. Because either we do not get our cases or get our ear trained. So here I am showing you one app, which is known as the Heart Normal Pro, time permitting I show you. And uh, it gives a mission when you run like this, it gives you a form cardiogram and then it gives you actually what is what is wrong. So much good. And you can train your ears for what a period of time and what here I am doing. I am taking an MD exam, I have given me a phone and I am giving it cardiac conditions. Now these are some of the other published innovations which I could get from there. I am sorry if I have not included others because I could not get access to them. I am 100% convinced that all of you have innovations and uh, I am not, I was not fortunate to retrieve them. So only limited list is there. These are from the net. I thought, I came actually mentally prepared with a different thought today. And my desire was that I do my presentation minus that. That was my desire. I came with a smartphone to turn my presentation in. But you know, always there is a difficulty in, in when you bring innovation, you innovate, there are bottlenecks. And hence, my system did not permit here today to tell it through oh, my smartphone, but I don't leave it. I'll show you something through a smartphone also in this session and say that that a smartphone is a very wonderful device. For the first time, I did not bring my laptop and I'm very confident that if I'm given an opportunity in my infrastructure, I'll be able to do as good a job of presentation with an innovative thought. And I suggest people should utilize more and more. The initial activity problems would always be here, but to become highly personal. Coming to publications. One of the worst things today in India is that as we do not have data, we don't publish. So we say either publish or publish. Those who are bright people who are brilliant, they analyze the, do various studies and analysis and they publish Cochrane and analysis without doing their own work. But they publish and they all this thing. It is truth. And people will say, I have done four metanalysis, you have done four, and if you have not done three, you are really inferior to me. But my did, none of them have heard for those researchers. Point of this, be worthy wise. You will have to do cognitive analysis, but whatever open source data available on net, at least you can analyze that. It's open source data. You are not teaching somebody's privacy, right? And publish that. In fact, I have about uh, 10 publications plus on apps on smartphones on various domains, radiology, pediatrics, including PubMed analysis on apps. So I am just giving an idea, those who are aspiring to go to medical college or academic institutions, you may not realize now, but at various stages of the life or our life, these publications are very crucial. For becoming a successful professor, you should have so many, for becoming a professor, you should be so many, and then you realize what you did not do and become so crucial. But not only that, you feel much more accomplished if you have something behind your name that you have published. When I visited the uh, Sinha's unit, and if I had any argument, they asked me to run a work that I published that. I was on the back foot, 
even if you have conviction, if you have anecdotal word, publish. And again, I'm suggesting an innovative method of publishing when you have open source data will at least analyze it and create some publication. Then I thought, let me do some more analysis because I'll be getting audience of all levels. Let me see how much we work and analyze. So, and publish. To analyze PubMed, okay, let me see ads in PubMed or innovations in PubMed and see what a big picture. When I put my keywords, innovation and neurology, four publications only came and they were not appropriate. Innovation and remote care, two publications not appropriate. Innovation and neurology, four publications, one on incubator level. And maybe when I put the innovative and neurological equipment, there were more, but possibly they were also not fully relevant. Suffices to say that even worldwide, we talk of innovation, but there's a blatant absence of publication on innovation. So we want to change, we want to change globe. Therefore, the issues are in innovations. That's what I feel. That there is no central registry. We don't public and patenting we don't know by much. What is the way ahead? I feel that there should be central repository of innovations. Journals, they have started having a special section, should have. We should have awards and motivation for innovations more often. Conferences like this where theme is innovations are required. Website on innovation, discussion groups, easier pretending, and inclusion of innovation in innovation and possibly I also touch on counseling and patients in the curriculum or say by various levels of medical education, be it a graduation or beyond. Therefore, to conclude, if we have to do better and stay with state health without being cut and paste or looking at US and UK or any other developed country, we must have our own things. So therefore, it is essential and extremely relevant to have our jugars as I started with and innovate. Their dissemination is mandatory, not that many care may not be done. We are being started here to say, no, we must share. There must be facilitatory attitude and when we do innovation, it guarantees that well, self will grow, the idea will grow, we will grow. Balance it. What an order of accomplish. We all came to this world. We took from parents, our teachers, people, government, literature, equipment, and so on. Everyone has given us. Everyone. Do we think about it? But I only look only on a few points. And I only talk about literature and different things. We only read books of others. Do we ever think of writing books? Somebody else can read our book. Can somebody experience our abnormal case, case report? And even Lord Bhatta said that, well, you get from one hand and pass it on from the other hand. Do we do it? Or will we read? Later on, then it is a good thing. Therefore, Will anyone like to leave the world without paying back his credits? Point to point. We must introspect. Where are we? It is never too late to start thinking or doing such things. It could be today or now. And my point here, which I wish to emphasize, is that we all think good, we start good, but we do not reach finality. We must reach finality. Einstein did not speak until four years. He did not write until seven years. He was declared slow and mentally handicapped. But let's see what he did. Can't we? I'm sitting with one old man, very respectable man. He is 82 years old. He did his PhD at 82 years. So age is no part. And here I see all people young, third row, even younger. 
We saw it better last evening. With this, I acknowledge all you wonderful people who gave me such patient hearing, new mom, and all my colleagues who have been pushing me to do such a wonderful job. It is their work. I know it. Unions and patients. Before I make this final statement, I would like to express. My expression statement will be we all firmly believe and I believe without any doubt that I am among geniuses of India. And I make a statement. You talked in your high school, you did very well in N plus 2, that is why we all became doctors. We did so well that we did our post graduation and some of us did even super specialization and we are sitting as excellent people, people, you are listening to us. So you are sitting to none Is that correct? We are brilliant. I mean, let's do a self appraisal and appreciate. But till when we will remain cut in case? Despite being the best, we are still cut in case. The time has come. If we have to improve our newborn care in particular, or we get into health care in general and country at large. We must take it off. That we would continue to remain innovative or do our rewards. But we shall take them to finality. We will publish them. We would work not in parallel as we are working today. Many times they are going to come to No. Let's work in series. And if we do that, I am sure the future of Indian babies and future of all of us would be wonderful. Give us their followers. Thank you so much.